Hey guys, this video is about how to carve because I want you all to be safe in your carving. Um, usually I would have drape um, this over my knee like this and then press it down into the ground or the tarp but since I need one hand to hold the camera I'm gonna wrap my leg around it for now but uh these are just some tips for your carving now what you want to do is you want the blade to face away from you at all times except for when you are um, flattening the top of your handle and making the um, the the um, bristle end sharp so that you can put it into the bristles but I'll get to that later um, this type of um, what I'm going to show you is what I want you to do for when you are carving off uh, the bark and when you're um, chipping away at unwanted bits like nubs I call these little things nubs uh, when you're getting these off it's easier to saw them off and I recommend that if you can but if you can't then always you know um, you can carve them off too because I've done that but what I want you to do is I want you to hold your knife you can put your thumb right here or right here which is the blunt end of the blade what I want you to do is make a slight angle, like this is flat, this is a slight angle, and I want you to push away from you. See that? Away from you. This is to make sure that um, when you're cutting or carving that no none of your fingers get caught uh, in front of the blade because um, if you see this little boo-boo right there that was from me being not smart and because uh, I was carving this way and it caught I think on a nub and uh, uh, it slid and it sliced my finger and I was using a um, I was using a steak knife to saw off one of the nubs because I don't know what happened to my saw so yeah I used that but um so that's how to carve that the end is away so practice that a few times is away from you and if you need to you know if you get start in the middle work your way to one end then flip it around and start in the middle and work your way to the other end. But uh, for the handle, we're going to make it flat on top. So see how it's all broken and everything? We're going to chop this off and make it nice and flat. Now see how there's a nub right here? I would normally start right where the breakage stops. But since there's a nub right here and it's hard to carve around that, I'm going to go about an inch or two down and make a line Oops, sorry this is kinda hard with only one hand but we're making a line and what I want you to do is make it all the way around so that uh, you have hang on I'm making it easier so you guys can kinda see making a line all the way around kinda really carve into it and this is a guide to where you want your handle to stop. Can you see that? Yeah. And so that when you do carve towards yourself, it will be more safer. Because I'll, I'll show you how this works in a sec. Just need to finish going around. I really hope you guys can see this. The sun's kind of in my way. So it's hard to see the screen. Making a line, really get it in there so that you can see it. Uh, 
Hang on. Almost there. Yeah. Okay. Now, now that you have your line, I know it's hard to see mine, but I know where it is. You want to put your blade into the line. Hang on. <sighs> so hard to do with one hand. Okay. See our line right here. That's my line. Is right there. I want you to put your blade into the line and carve away from you. And put it back into the the line and carve away. And what you're doing is you're creating a little ridge so that when you start carving back this way, you'll have a place to stop so that you won't hurt your finger, your thumb right here, when you're carving back. Well, your thumb or your other hand holding the broom. So when you carve this way, it will stop right where you want it, your broom to end. And to carve, um, so, uh, yep, my finger's in the way. So we're carving away from ourselves, making this ridge, and I want you to go all the way around, make a nice big ridge for yourself. Again, this is really hard to do with only one hand, but uh, so there's a little bit. See how my knife stops right there? That's my ridge. And to carve toward yourself. This is very dangerous. Don't do this like I am, but um, I want you to do what I said before and make a slight angle, but instead carve toward yourself. And it kind of helps if you saw, like, um, start over here and slide the blade towards the, t towards the tip as you're carving. And that makes those nice little swirls. Or you can just come straight back. But be very, very careful when you're doing this. That's why this ridge is here. And normally I'd have a bigger ridge. But for the sake of the video, I'm just showing you what to do. Um, so you'd bring that back. And what that does is that this will slowly become a tip starting from here, growing out. And eventually you're, you'll whittle all of this down into a point and then snap it off. And then from here where your ridge is, where you made that um, cut, will be flat. And then on the other end of the stick, you're going to start, depending on how much you take off from the top, you're going to measure and see how long you want it and where you want your tip to start. My tip will probably start about right here-ish right in there. You'll do the same thing again, only this time, um, instead of, uh, see how the tip is right here, instead of, uh, actually it'd be this way. Okay, sorry. Guys, I know this is kind of all over the place, but, okay, so this is the bristle tip. We're going to start about, on mine I'm going to start about a foot, but I want you to measure and see how tall you want it to be. And you're going to make the same little circly bit all the way around. And you're going to do the same thing. Um, you're going to do the same thing, but not... No, not this way. Sorry. Okay, I was, I was right. This way. Okay, you're going to do the same thing. Only instead of the piece you're taking off is going to have the tip, the piece that you're leaving on is going to have the tip. So you're going to make your ridge all the way around, carve away from you, and then once you have um, enough so that when you start carving this way, it'll stop. That's when you start carving this way, and you'll eventually create your point. And this will come in handy when we're applying or putting on the bristles of your broom. But for now, that's all you need to know for um for carving your handle um for the nut oh, dropped you guys huh goodness 
uh, for the nubby bits, what to do is carve away from you. This is the wrong way. I would have this on up there. But carve away from you, and eventually you'll whittle it down so that this will just be a little bump, and it won't be any big deal. And then later you can sand it down to make it um, smaller. But uh, just keep carving away from you on the nubby parts until... And, like, you know, carve away from you on the sides. And um, you can kind of hack away at the um, stuff, the nub that's really sticking out. Hack that away. Carve away the rest. But always carve away from you. Except for when you're working on the handle. The, to flatten the handle. And when you're sharpening the tip. And when you do carve towards yourself, make that ridge. So that when you're carving towards yourself, you'll have a place to stop. Your blade will stop and won't continue on and potentially cut yourself. So keep that in mind. I want you guys to be safe about this. And I will come back to you in the next step. Blessed be.